Hi, this is Mohit from Fager Automation. In part one, we created and edited a program. Now we will simulate it and define the graphics for the Fagor 8060, 8065 or 8070 control. So now since the program is made, we would like to test the program by simulating it. So I move my cursor to the very first block. As you see the first block, my cursor is on the first block. I can start the simulation. So before I press start simulation, I would like to bring up the graphic screen. To do so, you have to press the edit key again, the key that you pushed in to get to the edit mode. If you press the same key again, it will bring up the graphic screen as well. So I click on that. It opens up the graphic screen. Now here we so far we have not defined the dimensions of the part. So the easy way would be I will write try to run the graphic simulation and then CNC would figure out the approximate dimensions of that particular path. So let's say I press start simulation on the right side. Click on that. So now you see that it did execute our motion, the start, uh, the circular path, but the graphics is not defined yet. We have not defined the dimensions of the part yet. So we go to dimensions from the bottom menu, dimensions. We have an option in there called automatic dimensions. So when we press that option, the graphics will be updated with the approximate uh, location where the path is. So if I press start simulation, it fit, it is right in the middle of that part. So basically these are the approximate dimensions the CNC calculates and it gets imported by itself. Now if you want to be more precise or maybe you have a longer part or the part is not exactly matching with the tool path, we can define our own dimensions. So we go again, we click on dimensions, we will say edit. Now it gives us the option to define the dimension along the x-axis, along the y-axis, as well as along the z-axis. So I will move my cursor down. So as we, as I pointed out before that I'm assuming we are using a block which is 5 inches along the x-axis and 4 inches along the y-axis. So if you picture the part and the tool, you will, your tool will have to go from 0 to plus 5 inch to cover up that part. So in the dimensions is asking us what is x minimum, we will say it is 0, enter, and x maximum is plus 5 because your tool has to go from 0 to plus 5 in order to cover that part. Enter, similarly for the y-axis, now in this case if you picture the tool over the part, it has to go from 0, which is the top left corner, to minus 4 because now the, part, the tool has to move in the negative direction to cover the part because the top left side is 0. So in the, that means my y minimum is minus 4, enter, and y maximum is 0 because it goes from 0 to minus 4, enter. Similarly for the z-axis, the top of the part is 0 and let's assume the tool, uh, the, the part is one inch thick. So the Z minimum will be minus one and Z maximum will be zero. So basically it goes from zero to minus one. And then we say, okay. When we click on okay, now you can see the part on the screen looks like it's five by four inches. It's like a rectangular part. And we can say start simulation. There you go, so it follows the complete path. And you can see the circle. Now you can see the program at the bottom as well, like what program is trying to run. You can always activate the single block from the right side. And now for every step, you will see each and everything moving there. So I say delete, so it says start, one block at a time. Start the spindle, positions, goes down, 
make the circle comes out stop the spindle and M30 so you can activate single block as well if you want to check block by block now since the simulation is very fast as we press it it's too fast to see you can always slow down or adjust the speed of the simulation as well you press the view key at the bottom menu you will see view and now you can turn on the simulation speed I press on that now you can move the bar depending on wherever you would like to move it so I am moving at 15% for instance and I'd say start simulation now it's slow motion so this is cover this part covers how to create a program edit a program and simulate a program check out for part 3 where we will execute this program thank you